once again i welcome you uh, in this program today the topic is how to make emphatic sentences by using do does did i repeat once again how to make emphatic sentences by using do does did now generally we do get the doubt that what is meant by emphatic emphatic means to tell in a strong way mind you uh, if the sentence is in simple present if the sentence is in simple present we must use do or does if the sentence is in simple past tense we must use did i repeat once again when the sentence is in simple present tense then we have to use do does to make emphatic sentences whereas if the sentence is in simple past tense we must use did note that after after do does did we must uh, use verb one that is uh, present tense of the verb or basic form of the verb is used after do does did that is the rule which you must not forget now i have taken some examples we will do uh, i have taken both uh, simple present tense as well as simple past tense to uh, how uh, we can make uh, into emphatic sentences okay number one number one uh, the sentence is i know her because it is it is in simple present tense we must use do uh, so i do know her this is a uh, simple present i used to do uh, next we do have uh, we help you is the sentence we have to make everything because uh, this is in simple present we must use do we do uh, because he she uh, it take third person singular takes does here because this is the first person singular and the first person plural i have taken do uh, we do uh, help you another sentence uh, he eats fish because it is a third person singular i will use it does uh, he does eat fish i am making emphatic sentences another one fourth one gopal plays tennis gopal does play tennis next i went there this is in past tense this is in past tense so i i will use did i will use did i did so i have told you whether it is a simple present or simple past after do does did we must use v1 form so when the v1 form of went is go i did go there he went fishing another example i have written he did go fishing next one uh, he wanted to go he this is also in past tense uh, he did want wanted first form verb form want he did want to go next eighth example uh, he heard the news this is also in past tense uh, he did heard verb one hear he did hear the news he did hear the news now final ninth one he played uh, well so this is also in past tense he did play uh, verb one form play he did play well 
Okay, I have taken simple present and simple past tense and I have changed into emphatic sentences by using do, does, did. Right now. Next, in a sentence, uh, if has, have, had, is used as main verb, then to change into emphatic sentence, we use do have, does have, or did have. You must note that after do, does, did, you must use have, you must not use has and had. Mind you, you must not use has or had, only you must use have after do, does, did. You will see the examples here. Uh, I have taken uh, three examples. I have a bike. Now you have to change into emphatic sentence. You will have to change. I do have a bike. Next. Here you see the second example. She has a phone. Uh, change into emphatic. She, uh, because third person does have a phone. Another example, last example, she had a cup. Uh, to change, she did, past tense because we have to use past tense, she did, I told you, after do, does, did, you must use have, she did have a cup. I have changed into everything and I have told you how to use uh, and what to use uh, after uh, after has have had if it is used as main verb right now third and final how to make imperative sentences into emphatic sentences you have to keep it in mind that after the verb we must use do and you must also note that in imperative sentences we must not use does or did. I repeat once again, to change the imperative sentences into emphatic sentences, we must use do after the verb. We must not use does or did, mind you. Now, I have taken some examples. You see here, uh, come tomorrow. I told you, we must use only do. Do, come tomorrow next write me a letter write me a letter soon do write me a letter soon third example please help her i told you we must use only do do please help her. Next fourth example coming. Do come in. Now fifth example please have a cup of tea. Please do have a cup of tea. Sixth one, have a rest now. I told you, we must use only do, we must not use it, does or did. Do have a rest now. Do have a rest now. Next, seventh one, have patience. Do have patience. Another one. Please close the door. We can say, please do close the door. Right. I have told you three types of sentences which we can change into or how we can change 
into uh, emphatic sectors. The first one was simple present and simple past and the second one was where uh, has, have, had is used as uh, uh, mean work in the sentence. In the third, we have learned how to make uh, imperative sentences into emphatic uh, sentences. Okay friends, we will meet in the next video. Until then, goodbye.